Hi everyone, so today we are doing the Guess the Language Challenge and we have a very, very special guest joining us and he will be introducing himself. My name is Steve Kaufman. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, I like learning languages. Uh, much of my career was in the forest uh, industry, but uh, the last 10-15 years I've uh, spent a lot of time learning languages and together with my son we've created a language learning platform. I even have a channel at YouTube with quite a few subscribers. And um, yeah, I have two sons and five grandchildren. Okay, so, uh, you know, I... Uh, to try to, the, the, the challenge was to come up with a sentence and then to say the sentence in different languages and you're gonna guess, right? So some of these are you're gonna find quite easy and some more difficult. So uh, here's the first sentence. Uh, Mandarin Chinese. Oh, I said oh, Mandarin. Mandarin. Okay, one Cantonese. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's Mandarin. Okay, well, of course it was Mandarin. And it's something that I think is very important in language learning. And that is that whatever you learn, you're going to forget. And <laughs> if you are uh, going to learn a language, you have to accept the fact that you're going to forget just about everything and have to relearn it. <laughs> Why did I learn Mandarin? Okay, uh, it was not my choice. I was, in 1968, I was uh, a member of the Canadian, or I, I worked for the Canadian Department of Industry, Trade and Commerce. Uh, Canada was getting ready to recognize the People's Republic of China. They wanted to train some people to speak Mandarin. And um, so I was, uh, actually I had, uh, I had studied in France and felt very confident, you know, and, and I had, you know, in that experience, I had realized that it's possible to become fluent in another language and therefore I had no doubt that I could learn Chinese although there were friends of mine who said geez Chinese you know that's very difficult how are you ever going to do that and so I volunteered I said I'm your guy in fact I even started taking Chinese lessons from a person in Ottawa I didn't learn anything but I was able to go to my uh, you know man you know the boss and say look uh, I've started learning on my own so obviously I'm the one you want and then they chose me <laughs> All right. Let's number go for two. number two. Okay, well, just so I can think of which one. So, per alcune parti e poi a impararli di nuovo. Okay, ready? Ready? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Spanish. Italian. Italian. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's Italian. And uh, I guess if you don't hear them very often, then, um, then it's difficult to tell them apart. But the biggest thing is that Italian, at least in Europe, is more sing-songy and Spanish is more machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good analogy. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Pentru a invec o limba trebuie sa fi pregatic sa uici Perch din ya si apoi salapochi relasa. I went Slovakian again. All right, you guys are in the area. Am I? Am I? Don't be bashful. Don't be bashful. I went Lithuanian. Okay. I went with Czech. Okay. I went Serbian because of the ch oh. sound. Okay. Again, Serbian is not far off geographically, but it's Romanian. Oh! <laughs> so, I learned Romanian because uh, uh, I have a lumber business. Uh, we buy wood in Romania, which we sell to the U.S. East Coast. Uh, we have mills that supply us from Romania. I decided to visit. So, before visiting, I decided to learn the, enough of the language that I could communicate. So, I spent basically two months or so. 70% of the vocabulary is so similar to Italian that it's actually quite easy to learn. And then 20% of the vocabulary is similar to Slavic languages. Uh, obviously, it has grammar issues that are, you know, but you just have to learn them. So uh, I didn't find it that difficult to learn. Uh, when I was in Romania, I was able to communicate to some extent. Barie zabono zabon ho yod begiram lazem jest forushkardan. Uh, badas inke 
دوباره یاد میگیرم یاد میگیره اما just go just I was gonna say check okay you guys are stuck on that part of the world yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me for me it sounded a little bit like Polish so I decided to go for Polish this time right. me or you I meant Russian okay I went Georgian <laughs> you think I can speak Georgian <laughs> <laughs> But you are the close. You are the closest, though. You are the closest because it's uh, Persian, Farsi. Um meine Sprache zu lernen, muss man bereit sein, Teil davon zu vergessen und sie dann neu zu lernen. Natürlich ist das. Natürlich. Deutsch. Deutsch. Okay. Janamate te mi aglosa. Prepina isti or prepina xasete. Stin Sinechia Natis Mathete Hana. No, I'm not one of my stronger languages, but it's the same message. Not a language I know. <laughs> not something I know, but it sounds um, familiar. I can't mm. even place what region. Me <laughs> too. I have a guess. I don't know if it's correct or not, mm. but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. I think our answers should be it's quite vastly that. different. So yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's do one by one. One by one. So I think it's Ukrainian for no reason right. at all. I'm just taking a wild <laughs> guess. All right. I wrote down Slovenian just uh, to have all a wild right. guess. <laughs> okay. You're I went Romanian. Closer. You're even getting closer. Because it sounded kind of like romantic language ish. Yeah. So I went Romanian. I went with Greek because of all the yeah. S endings. Uh -huh. Absolutely right. Oh, well great! Done. Wow! Good. Let's see. I'll give you an easier one. For att lära dig ett språk måste du vara beredd att glömma mycket och sen lära sig lära dig igen. That was easy. I I thought it sounded awfully like Russian. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I can hear some consonants from it. So okay. that's why I picked that. Uh, well, me and Anna both yeah. chose the same Bulgarian. Okay. Okay, I'm first, when, when you first said it, I thought it was some Asian language, that's why I was looking at Naomi and I thought, oh, maybe Korean or something, but I have no idea, but then when you repeated it, I thought, okay, double consonants, that sounds like Finnish. Okay. Uh, Finnish, you're close geographically, but of course not close in terms of language uh, families. Uh, the answer is uh, Swedish. Oh, yes. Oh. I do, I do. I, I, I think I could detect Hungarian though, just saying. But you should be able to yes. detect Hungarian by that. Well, now I'm really confused. Okay, can I start? Yeah. yeah. I think it's Japanese. Me too. Okay. So I written, okay. I wrote down Korean, but then you, when you said it the second time, I definitely put Japanese. So. Well, I know it's Japanese. Oh, there you so. go. <laughs> hey, you guys are on a roll here. Bir dil ören mekichin onun unutmaya va sonra yeniden öğrenmeye hazır olmasını. Olmasınız. I, I went with Thai. Okay. Um, I okay. went with Arab, but then I also thought maybe Armenian. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Are you searching? Yes, okay. I'm searching. I, I went something really obscure. I went Bhutanese. <laughs> okay. There, I, I just blind guess Portuguese. No, it's uh, Turkish. Ah. Oh. How can I not? Okay, Turkish. Me too. Jesus <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I studied Turkish, so I sort of entered my Middle Eastern phase and started with Arabic. And then, having put all that effort into learning the Arabic script, decided to learn or try to learn Persian, which I've been doing. And so, because Turkey is part of that sort of Middle Eastern part of the world, plus my wife was watching Turkish uh, series on Netflix. So I, th so I thought, gee, 
I should go and learn Turkish too. Okay, here's one that's going to be easier for you, maybe. You want to learn how 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 to learn so. Should I go first? Yeah. Yeah. You were fast. Cantonese? We're all Cantonese. Cantonese. No, Cantonese. Yes. Cantonese. Yes. I, I went Thai. Thai, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Pour apprendre une langue, il faut être prêt à en oublier certaines parties, puis aller réapprendre. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to leave you guys, uh, you know, uh, lacking in self confidence. Oui, so c'est ça, un peu facile. Je some easy ones out there. Чтобы выучить язык, нужно быть готовым забыть его часть, а затем заново их переучить. Okay, you can start this time. Yeah. Hey, me? Yeah. 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 Hungarian. Am I wrong? <laughs> I yes. went with Polish. Oh, what? I went with Russian. Russian. There you go, oh, Russian. No. Russian. I thought this of was course. Hungarian. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 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 Cool. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So thank you. Much. All right. So that was it. That was the plan. All right. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. So I encourage people to learn languages and even and, and even to learn them in groups. Uh, one kind of catapults you to the next. So I learn Russian, then I learn Ukrainian, then I learn Polish. Even if there's a little bit of interference, uh, it's kind of fun to continue to explore languages within a particular uh, language family. And when I finish with my Persian, uh, I think I'm going to study Urdu because it's written in the, you know, Arabic script, and yet then I can migrate into the sort of Indian languages, Urdu and Hindi, and so forth. So, exploring languages is fun, even if you make mistakes. Lots of mistakes, and you got to make mistakes. You got to forget things, and then you just go back and learn them again. Yeah. 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 That I was like the that. message. That was the message in my sentence. <laughs> Well, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Okay, you you're welcome. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Sziasztok, Emma vagyok. Sziasztok, Ashley vagyok. Mi már folyékonyan tudunk magyarul. Esti, örtkozatok fel, esti is, meg tanulhatok mazsuel bezelni. Es nie felicitek el a Chengit.